Ruta Nacional 40. This beautiful spring. The water is so clear. I appreciate that we were able to road trip down here and check this out. Welcome back everyone, Bariloche, Argentina. Today, we are going to be continuing our mini Patagonia road trip. We're gonna take a trip down Highway 40, down south of here into Rio Negro province. We're gonna see all the beautiful things that Rio Negro province has to offer. We'll stop in a few little towns just to see what's going on down there. And uh, it should be a fun trip, so come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you wanna help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. So Ruta Nacional 40, National Route 40, here in Argentina is a extremely famous highway. It's basically comparable to Route 66 in the United States for all the viewers from the United States. And it's important to remember that Argentina is a very, very large country. And the map, as you can see here, the route runs from all the way in the north to all the way in the south, the entire length of the country, which is, for comparison for United States viewers, is basically like Here's Argentina on a map of the United States, and it's basically like driving from the White House in Washington, D.C. to Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. That's the length of Ruta Nacional 40. Now today, we're only gonna be driving a very, very short part of that route. If you look on the map here, you can see that we're gonna be going between these two cities, Bariloche and El Bolson. As you can see, a very, very short distance, but a very, very beautiful drive. So, enough of me talking. Let's, uh, let's see the beautiful sights along Ruta Nacional 40.
first stop along the way here, man, it's really, really beautiful. It's very, very majestic. Everywhere you look when you drive through here, there's just mountains out in the distance. You come across like a curve and there's like a little mountain lake or something. You come around a curve like this and there's this beautiful spring that's just pouring water down. All the little, um, like all the towns along the way and uh, like San Carlos de Bariloche you see there at the top. But as you go south, Villa Catedral, Villa Mascardi, El Manso, Rio Foyel, M. Ahogado, and eventually El Bolson. El Bolson is right by the border to the next province, which is Chubut province. And uh, actually, I think we may actually head over into Chubut province as well, just because I want to like, I want to do a little filming for another video that I'm making, and there's a very interesting thing down in Chubut province that we need to see for that video, but that's not going to be part of this video. I think for this video, we'll just stop at some of these places along the way. We'll head down to El Bolson, which is like a bigger town. And hopefully by the time we get there, it'll be about lunchtime. We'll be able to get something to eat at El Bolson. I think we will. I'm gonna go explore this uh, little spring over here. The water is so clear. Mountain spring water, I mean, you know. Very beautiful. Starting to get a little crowded here. I think it's time, time for us to uh, hit the old dusty trail, as they say. Patagonia road trip continues. We make a stop right here in uh, the town of El Fogel. And we saw El Fogel on the sign that we saw back there by the uh, that mountain spring. And 
is it. There are some cabins in here. There was a little general store back there that we visited. Got a sandwich and a coffee. It's delicious. And there's a little school over here. Some kids out playing soccer or baseball or something. But as always, beautiful, beautiful views. Out in the distance, you can see beautiful snow-capped mountains. Like it is pretty much everywhere around here. You look out in the distance, see beautiful snow-capped mountains. And this is going to be, I think, probably our last stop before we get to El Bolson, which is much bigger than, uh, than this. El Bolson is, is like a very large town or even a small city. Um, and I think it's about, mm, I don't know, 45 or 50 kilometers that way. So we'll go check that out. But before I leave here in El Fogel, uh, I don't know if you noticed this, but right across the way, there's a confiteria. And um, I want to get something sweet there. Confiteria is like, you know, cakes and pastries and possibly chocolate. So let's go across, this, across the road here and uh, see what they have at the confiteria. Maybe we can get a little snack for the road. All right, got ourselves a little something sweet. I was talking to, uh, talking to the woman in the shop there. Her name is Lenny. And she told me that, yes, El Bolson is indeed like 45 or 50 kilometers that way. On. We have arrived central square of El Rosón, the flag of Argentina flapping in the wind. Let's say we explore around a little bit. Uh, one of the things I want to find is a little something to eat, a little something to drink, and it looks like right over here, across from the main square, across this street, there is a, uh, like a little square with what looks to be like a bar, grill, brewery type place. Patio Cervecero. That looks like the spot. So let's go over here, not get run over in the street, 
and uh, see what they got on the menu. Delicious Milanesa lunch and uh, glass of beer. Very nice. Before we get back on the road, walk around a little bit, walk off the beer, of course. And uh, right across the street from this place, this nice little chapel. And I think what's pretty amazing about this is, you know, it's like Bariloche, but smaller town. And I just imagine, like, you know, coming here to church or going out to the, uh, the square here to like walk your dog or something in the morning and off in the distance there's just those those huge gigantic snow-capped mountains like everywhere it's a crazy thing especially for me someone who is uh, from the Midwest in the United States where it's basically as flat as it can possibly be. Uh, everything is flat. There's no mountains. There's not even hills, barely. It's basically just completely flat for hundreds and hundreds of miles in every direction. But to come to a place like this, where, uh, you know, it's just settled, a little town right next to these huge, massive mountains, it's just crazy to me, but really, really beautiful. And I appreciate that we were able to road trip down here and check this out. Uh, I wanna head across and see what there's a, it's like a little sculpture over here in the plaza. I don't know what it is. I wanna find out what it is. I just wanna find out who this dude is. Al ingeniero Alberto T. Pagano, Bolson y Susana, Febrero 4 de 1961. 1961. Okay, so Alberto T. Pagano. Alberto T. Pagano. I don't know who that guy was, but it's famous enough that he got a bust of himself right here in the middle of the square. So. And over here, this sculpture. I don't know what this is. Despertando Raices. Emmanuel Martinez. It's very cool. It's wooden carving. Very, very cool. There's some cool stuff in here. You know, around here, on the other side, there's some more of these wooden carving sculptures. Wooden carved sculptures, right over there. We can go over and check them out. One of the things I'm also doing here while we're filming our uh, road trip, our mini Patagonia road trip video, um, I'm actually filming some stuff for the next video that's gonna come out, which uh, is gonna come out right after this one. And it's gonna be about Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That's right, the infamous outlaws from the United States, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, because uh, they spent some time here in Argentina. So, so sort of a dual purpose road trip, film for both of those. So definitely, when you're done watching this video, once that one comes out, make sure you check that one out too. And the thing that I want to film for, uh, for that video is a place down uh, further south from here in the next province gonna drive down there it's about an hour more drive and uh, it's not gonna be open for a couple of hours so we actually have some time to kill here in El Bolson so in addition to making this video showing off all the cool stuff here in El Bolson I'm uh, kind of just killing some time so that we can uh, arrive down in Chubut province in Cholila 
uh, in time to see what we're going to see down there for the next video. It's very cool. These carvings are very, very cool. Now, I think these are like carved straight from the uh, remnants of dead trees, right? Like these trees here that are in the plaza when they die off rather than just cutting them down completely cut them down like to that point trim off all the branches and everything and then eventually carve it into a very cool uh, wooden sculpture it's a really a great idea actually uh, really appreciate that the uh, ingenuity very right, cool there's another one over here I'm gonna take a look at it real quick This is very cool. This is what I like about road trips, honestly. You stop somewhere and you just see what you see, right? You see some cool stuff. Didn't really have any plan or anything for what we were gonna see on this road trip other than whatever was along uh, historic Route 40, which of course, you know, like I mentioned in that little interlude at the beginning of the video, Route 40, it's like the, uh, Route 66, right, of the United States. The famous Route 66 that runs east-west, going almost all the way across the country. But, um, unfortunately, in the United States, the interstate highway system, the major, major highways, have uh, sort of replaced and made irrelevant the old routes, right? The old cross-country routes like Route 66. There's some other ones too, um, but, a lot of those are just sort of obsolete now. Parts of them have been closed down. Parts of them get bypassed by the uh, interstate, and it makes it so that if there was a little town there along Route 66, the interstate comes through and uh, bypasses that town. The economy of the town sort of dies because the economy of the town was completely dependent on people traveling through along Route 66. But here, in Argentina, Route 40 is still a major, major route through the country, and there's still plenty of traffic, and it allows for little t little cities and small towns like El Bolson here to uh, to continue thriving. I'm gonna head down here just a little ways poke around for a few more minutes around El Bolson and see what we see. It's the provincial police office, El Bolson, Policia del Rio Negro. Back behind the police station, the municipal buildings. Nice little residential areas just off the square. Very quiet, very tranquil streets. I could definitely, definitely enjoy living here, honestly. I, I'll be really honest because it's a place that's it's in such a beautiful setting. It's very tranquil and it's large enough that it's gonna have the you know amenities that you would want if you were living somewhere like this. But it's small enough that it's still peaceful. And, like I said, every day you get to wake up and uh, head out of your house and look off down at the end of your street and see these beautiful, huge, like snow-capped mountains. Really very nice. A very nice place. El Bolson. Really glad we came down here. Like I said in our previous video, the part one of our little mini Patagonia road trip, it's the first time I've rented a car on our whole trip here. It's the first time that I've ever needed, really, to rent a car. And it's the first time that I've driven a car 
in a foreign country. So it wasn't actually as uh, difficult, confusing, or you know, as, as, as I thought it might be, but it was fine. And I'm really glad that we did it because I never would have been able to get out here. There is a bus, um, I think it's called Via Patagonica. It's, it's like a long haul bus line. And I've seen along highway or Route 40 stops for that bus with that logo. And so maybe it's possible to come down here by bus, but I don't know. It's a lot it's a lot nicer having a car. Most of the time in a lot of videos I make, especially the videos like about the neighborhoods where we stay, I always talk about how I don't like having a car and how having a car is really just a hassle. But in certain certain situations, it is really, really nice to be able to just hop in a car, turn on the radio, hit the highway, and go on a road trip and end up in a beautiful place like this, like El Bolson. So I'm really glad we did it. And I would say this, normally in videos, I tell people, you know, oh, you wouldn't have to rent a car if you visit this place. But I would say in Bariloche, if you are coming down here to visit, Maybe you don't rent a car for the entire time you're here. Maybe while you're in Bariloche in the city, you just do the bus, you do Uber, you do taxis. But man, for one or two days, I would, I would definitely recommend renting a car and getting yourself out around Circuito Chico, like we did in the previous video. But also get on Route 40, head south, head, head down here, towards uh, El Bolson. Maybe even check out El Bolson here. Just head out and see the rest of the province. See those beautiful mountains out in the distance. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. As far as this video is concerned, we're heading back up to Mariloche, and we will see you when we get there. Well, it's the next day now. We made it back from our 
mini Patagonia road trip. Did make it back just as the uh, sun was going down. I'm here out today in Bariloche, out by the lake on a very windy day, so I hope you can hear me all right. But here we are, back in Bariloche. Man, that road trip was 100% worth the experience of, uh, you know, the experience was 100% worth renting the car, even just for a couple of days to be able to make that trip and see. I mean, that drive out in Circuito Chico was really beautiful. There's plenty of places to stop and see beautiful things, but that drive down to El Bolson and uh, down south, oh man, that was so gorgeous. One of the most beautiful drives um, I've probably made in my entire life. And uh, I've driven, I've done drives in the very majestic, beautiful western parts of the United States. You know, Wyoming, Colorado, out in California. And man, it was, it was gorgeous. It was gorgeous down there. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, just a beautiful view for hours and hours and hours. Non-stop beautiful views. So, I think that's gonna be it. That'll be it for this video. And uh, we're gonna leave you here from Another beautiful view here in uh, Bariloche, in uh, Lake Nahuel Huapi. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed both of them. And um, we're going to do another video like I mentioned in this one. Our next video will be about Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So make sure you check back in for that one. And uh, we'll see you next time.